Sup guys, Esoteric Movie Time, The Last Picture Show, directed by Peter Bogdanovich, released in 1971 and deliberately shot in black and white. It's not an exceedingly esoteric feature, but it still isn't talked about as much as films like Star Wars, Jurassic Park, or Jaws. Nonetheless, it's an oldie but a goodie. In par for the course for Criterion, you get a nice booklet. Young Civil Shepherd, Young Jeff Bridges, Young Ellen Burstyn, and a Young Cloris Leachman. The film focuses on a bunch of kids in a small town in America with not much to do. You follow them along as relationships form and relationships dissolve. And Cloris Leachman's character, naturally she's an older woman. Uh, she actually forms a very interesting relationship with the young main protagonist. And their affair becomes extremely complicated as the film goes on. Excellent cast, excellent performances, no histrionic acting, nothing seems contrived, everything just seems natural. And the cinematography is breathtaking. It's a 10 out of 10. This release also includes Texasville, which is the sequel to The Last Picture Show. And it too is directed by Peter Bogdanovich, with a lot of the cast from the original film returning for the sequel. In my opinion, not as good as the original feature, but not a bad sequel either. Wanted this guy on physical media for the longest time. But Criterion originally bundled this film with other BBS production films, such as King of Barven Gardens, Drive, she said, Easy Rider, Five Easy Pieces, Head, the Monkey's Movie, and not a lot of Nicholson features. And nothing against Five Easy Pieces, it's an excellent film but I didn't want to pay for a whole box set just to get one movie. But now Criterion has put out The Last Picture Show in 4K UHD as a standalone release. And it's an excellent release. Two Blu-rays and the main feature on the 4K UHD disc. Three disc set. I've actually heard it said at one point that Peter Bogdanovich was mentored by Orson Welles. Not sure how accurate that is. You guys let me know. <laughs>